Rammed earth has been used for over 10,000 years. But today, it's being used to build beautiful modern homes, museums, furniture, and even flooring. It's a recognised building material in Australia and China with different hybrid systems allowing it to be used in cooler climates like the US, UK and Germany. This wall might look like mud and rock to you, but it's not. It's actually built by human hands. No steel reinforcement, no synthetic chemicals, just compressed earth. Right now, architects and builders around the world are racing to bring this ancient technique back. It might just be the answer to our modern construction crisis. And here's why. While many modern concrete buildings start deteriorating after just 50 years, rammed earth structures from the Han Dynasty are still solid. So I'm going to explain the science behind it, and even how you can use it. Rammed earth isn't just for garden walls, although that is a place where it can shine aesthetically. It can be used for load-bearing structures that support multiple stories, schools and luxury homes. The magic lies in its thermal mass. Think of rammed earth as a giant thermal battery. During the day, it absorbs the heat to keep the indoor temperature cool, and then at night it slowly releases it. And then the next day, it absorbs it, and then the next night, it slowly releases it. It's a never-ending natural cycle. And now, there is a technical distinction here. Thermal mass is not the same as insulation. In a colder climate, like here in the UK, it might actually be too cold because there's just not enough sunlight for a normal rammed earth wall to absorb the heat from. But that's often why modern sustainable architects use insulated rammed earth placing a layer of insulation inside the wall to get the best of both worlds, storage and warmth. And it's not just about the temperature. Rammed earth regulates humidity naturally. It kind of breathes. If your room is too humid, the clay absorbs the moisture. If it's too dry, it releases it. It's like having a passive climate control system that just doesn't need any electricity. And obviously the walls are just beautiful. Each wall is almost a unique piece of art. The horizontal layers showing the Earth's natural colours, the reds, the browns, the yellows, the greys, all compressed into beautiful striations that you just can't replicate with paint. So the construction process is relatively straightforward, although it does require precision. First, you need the right soil mix. Generally, you're looking about 30% clay, 70% sand and aggregate. If you have too much clay, then it will crack as it dries. If you have too little, then it won't bind together. Next, you need to build the formwork, wooden frames that hold the shape, very similar to concrete forms. Then comes the compaction. You add damp earth into the formwork in layers, we call them lifts, about four to six inches at a time. The moisture content is critical here. The soil should be damp enough so that when you squeeze it in your hand, it holds a shape, but doesn't leave any water in your palm. If that happens, that means you can ram. Traditionally, this was done with hands, tampers, but modern builders use pneumatic rammers. The loose earth is compressed to about half the original volume, creating an incredibly dense, solid mass. And once a section is compacted, you can pretty much remove the formwork immediately. You don't need to wait for it to cure like concrete. Layer by layer, you are literally building a wall from the ground up. And here are some examples of real life rammed earth buildings. In Nepal, after the devastating 2015 earthquake, engineers utilized reinforced rammed earth. By integrating vertical tie rods or bamboo reinforcement within the earth walls, they created structure that could flex and survive tremors that would damage conventional rigid buildings. In South Africa, entire residential developments are being constructed with this method. Because of that high thermal mass that I mentioned earlier, these homes stay naturally cool in extreme heat without air conditioning, cutting energy costs significantly. My favorite example is probably the historic one. Sections of the Great Wall of China are built with rammed earth. Modern concrete typically has a design life of 50 to 100 years before carbonation and corrosion set in. 
property built using rammed earth is proven that it can last thousands of years. And it's not just historical or developing world applications. High-end architects in Australia, the US and Europe are incorporating rammed earth into luxury homes. They're charging premium prices for an authentic, sustainable aesthetic. These walls become the centerpiece for the design, showcasing those natural earth layers like living artwork. But how could a homeowner actually use rammed earth? Well, the first thing you should probably start off with is maybe a garden wall. This is a perfect entry point. You can build stunning landscape walls using a simple wooden formwork and a hand tamper. It's a project that doesn't require complex planning permission normally, and it lets you learn the physics of the material. You'll learn how the soil compacts and how to manage moisture content on a small scale before trying anything structural. You can check that you do like how it looks. After that, you can then build a feature wall in your house. If you're renovating, you can consider a rammed earth element in your home. Beyond looking amazing, it contributes to a healthy building environment. Unlike paint or plaster, which can off-gas volatile organic compounds, rammed earth is non-toxic, it regulates humidity, and adds acoustic dampening to the room. The key you have to remember is just start small. Don't try and build an entire house on your first attempt. You should understand the soil first. Rammed earth isn't perfect. It can be more expensive and it's definitely more labor intensive than throwing up a timber frame or block work. But having an ugly building with a hundred year lifespan that gets knocked down after 50 and is hated after 30 because nobody likes it is a waste of time, money, and the happiness of locals and those that come to visit. That wouldn't happen with rammed earth buildings. Good things normally take time. Bound earth walls are sustainable, beautiful, and connect our modern lives back with the geology of the planet. So thanks for watching. Click here if you want to watch a video that YouTube believes you will like.